New hardware components such as the new all-in-one super horn that combines a horn, alarm, and loudspeaker could be included in Tesla's future Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in 2022. A leaked document on the German-language Tesla forum TFF exposed this functionality and others. Stay to the end to find out everything. Hey people, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the latest Model 3 updates and the Tesla Model 3 performance. A leaked document on the German-language Tesla forum TFF exposed this functionality and others. The document specified component changes appear to be intended for European regulator scrutiny. Tesla does not always match new features to model years as closely as other manufacturers do. In April 2019, for example, the business began installing its new complete self-driving computer in automobiles. The company then began adding an external speaker beneath Model 3 bumpers in September of that year to comply with legislation requiring electric vehicles to have a pedestrian alert system. Tesla's Acoustic Vehicle Alerting System, which makes sounds to warn nearby inattentive pedestrians due to electric vehicles' relative quietness compared to internal combustion engine vehicles, included the external speaker added. The firm, which is recognized for its oddities, later added various sounds, such as goat bleats and fart rips that blast from the exterior speaker after blowing the horn. A new cabin radar and infrared camera for Model Y, laminated rear door windows, and a new infotainment computer are among the other noticeable modifications. With the changeover to the 2022 model year, Tesla revealed certain adjustments to the Model 3 and Model Y, including some minor changes to the naming system of their vehicles. Along with adding lithium-ion phosphate batteries to the RWD Model 3, Tesla's made a number of other big and minor adjustments in the model year update. Julian, a Model 3 owner from Germany, discovered the information after seeing a full list of 29 changes published from testing in the Netherlands last month on the TFF forum. Some of the changes on the list are familiar to us, such as the latest AMD Ryzen processor, 12V, Lylon battery, and full acoustic glass. However, there are a number of other critical and crucial upgrades listed, some of which we don't know how they'll be implemented yet. An update to the user interface, which the paper claims will be based on the new UI seen in the Model S and Model X updates, will also likely please many owners. As previously indicated, another notable alteration is the addition of a super horn, which is characterized as a 3-in-1 horn, alarm, and loudspeaker. Due to the fact that the list also includes Model 3 upgrades, many of these are likely already in place at Giga Shanghai. A few of the updates include adding a new infotainment computer, with the new update, your touchscreen will be more responsive and smoother, rendering images and web pages faster. You'll also gain additional features that enhance both the entertainment and the functionality of your car. Adding a new low-voltage 15.5-volt lithium-ion battery. The cars will be converted from 12-volt batteries to Model S and Model X lithium-ion batteries. The Model 3 performance motor follows the Chinese Model Y performance using AMD Ryzen chips, which can effectively improve its performance. Adding laminated glass for the rear door. The laminated glass is harder to break, but it does eventually shatter. However, it doesn't disintegrate or fall apart. Instead, the laminate holds it together. Adding a new connectivity card. A new connectivity card is another intriguing addition. Tesla began displaying the modern capabilities of its cars as 2G, 3G, 4G capable in a recent software update. Adding Super Horn, a 3-in-1 horn, alarm, and loudspeaker to AVAS version. The new part will replace the current system, which is described as Super Horn, a 3-in-1 horn, alarm, speaker, AVAS version, implying that the automobile will need fewer speaker parts. The component may have a single speaker or a group of speakers that can play the sentry mode alert, AVAS noises, and horn. It may also deter hazardous modifications. Some electric vehicle owners such as Nissan Leaf and Tesla owners prefer silence in motion and have unplugged pedestrian warning speakers. Disconnecting the new all-in-one AVAS speaker may result in the horn being disabled as well. Updating the windshield washer pump for 15.5 volts. Model 3 and Model Y as mentioned earlier will ditch their heritage lead acid batteries in favor of 15.5 volt lithium ion versions, as well as additional accessories like a 15.5 volt windshield pump. 
Tesla made a similar change to the new Model S and Model X for 2021, adding an R55 device as a rear towing device. The addition of an in-cabin radar for the Model Y is one of the most important updates. The Federal Communications Commission gave Tesla permission to install millimeter wave sensors in its cars earlier this year. According to FCC filings, radar sensors would be able to detect youngsters who'd been left in the automobile. They'd also boost their theft prevention systems by installing a six-foot security range outside their vehicles and detecting damaged windows and vehicle incursions. Addition of the assembly plot Gigafactory 4 Berlin Brandenburg Several of the updates could be released first from Tesla's newest factory, given that these changes were disclosed in the Netherlands and some specifically mentioned Giga Berlin and Europe. Adding updated Perth brake pad friction material to Model 3. The list mentioned new brake pads, a new version of the brake discs, and improved brake pad friction material for the Model 3 performance brakes. However, several changes stand out, such as the new low-voltage lithium-ion battery, updating the user interface, a new format based on updated Model S slash X, addition of the LG M50 SL battery variant for the M3 performance, adding a vision slash camera system for M3 auto park function, adding a VIN number for the DU current, second row buckle sensor updated, remove control of the call overhead console, addition of the GFBB version of the side door and tailgate hinges, adding a localized GFBB version of multiple electronics, adding the wire wrap version of the rear DU to SRLFP plus M3, addition of M3 Perf M50 hairpin winding DU variant, changes to the seat mechanism due to localized suppliers, changes to the second row restraint system, and adding the side airbag to the driver's seat. That's most likely a substitute for the usual 12-volt car battery, which powers low-power systems like door locks, alarms, and the onboard computer. With the Model S and Model Y, Tesla had previously done this, so the modification was unavoidable. A new high-performance motor will be available in the Model 3's Performance Edition, as well as a fresh new infotainment computer, more baggage mass in the Model Y, and enhanced double-glazed acoustic glass. There's also a Superman, which is a device that combines the horn, alarm, and external speaker into one unit. Tesla may be a company that prefers to provide aftermarket upgrades via software updates, but this isn't always practical. Those updates rely on existing hardware that the automaker had the forethought to install, which is why its vehicles continue to receive such updates. It's impossible to say what advantages some of these features, particularly the new infotainment computer, may offer. We should expect something similar to happen here, given that Tesla has already begun installing the new AMD Ryzen chip in Chinese Model Ys, resulting in improved infotainment performance and load times. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing AMD-powered gaming machines with 10 teraflops of processing power inside the cheaper Tesla cars. At least, not yet. There's no official statement from Tesla on these upgrades, but we'll undoubtedly learn more in the coming weeks. Let us know in the comments below! If you found this video interesting, be sure to hit the like button and stay tuned. See you again with another exciting video. Until then, goodbye.